Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Ritchie and I want to thank you for joining us again today. We're here at the Ritchie Eye Clinic and what I would like to do today is introduce you to the process of an injection that we use to help people with retinal problems. Now, to summarize just a little bit and give you a little preparation for what's coming, this is an injection that we use primarily to treat people with macular degeneration. So you may know or you may get these yourself. These injections have been something new in the last five to seven years and they've been extremely helpful in allowing us to preserve vision in people with an otherwise uh, very difficult problem to treat. Now what really happens in macular degeneration is we get leaky blood vessels and it's the leaky fluid and the hemorrhage from these leaky blood vessels that causes the vision loss in wet macular degeneration. The medicine we use is called a vascular endothelial growth factor inhibitor or an anti-VEGF. You don't need to know the name of the medicine. What you need to know is it does work very effectively but it wears off. It's a naturally occurring substance, so our body produces anti-VEGF all the time. That's good because it means it works great, but it's bad because it means the body knows how to break it down. So the time frame over which each injection works is finite. So we end up repeating these injections about once a month or so. Now, what we've also learned over the last five to seven years is that these injections can be very helpful not only in macular degeneration but in other problems related to circulation. So we now use this medicine to treat swelling related to diabetic retinopathy, to treat blocked blood vessels like branch and central retinal vein occlusions, and any of an assortment of other vascular problems in the eye. Now, fortunately, we have uh, one of our patients, uh, Patricia Clark, who has agreed to allow us to videotape and film her as she goes through her exam today. So what you're going to get to see is what's involved in having an injection and actually how we go about doing it. With that, we're going to move on and introduce you to Pat. You had water spot images in your vision. Are you still getting that? No. Okay, so you feel like things have cleared up a little bit? Yes. Okay. E, G, N, D, H. I'm going to take you down a little further this time. A, P, L, A, P, L. In the middle of the grid. Line stay straight? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's have you take your glasses off. We'll set those aside. Take this, cover your left eye. Look right here at my eye. I'm going to wiggle fingers out here. I need to have you tell me when you notice them. Don't look at my hands. Yes, 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 yes. Trade sides. <clears throat> look right here. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we'll set that aside. And we need to check your eye pressure. Close. And open. Just breathe normally. Look straight ahead. You can sit back. Close. We're just going to kind of clean around the eye a little bit. Okay, doing all right? Yes. Now, I need to have you look up and way over to your left. Put a really thick gel in here. Hi. Good morning. 
So you can keep reclining. <laughs> keep your eyes closed. I got to look over a few of your tests and then we'll start. Pat, you have a blocked blood vessel that is what we're treating in the right eye. So we're using this medicine that's good for macular degeneration, but we're not using it for macular degeneration reasons. And that's something you and I have talked about before. Yes. And um, like you and I have talked about, you have some swelling related to this blocked blood vessel. We're going to inject, we'll do five injections every month for five months and then reevaluate. So the initial treatment is typically five injections. Some people like to go six. We've sort of settled on five. So the injection itself, you've been through once. It's pretty straightforward. Now I use a mask because anytime we do anything where we're entering the eye, we worry about infection. And studies have shown that the biggest source of infection during an injection is the injector breathing on you. So, we prep you with the betadine, but we don't need to use full surgical sterile technique. All right. So what you're going to do with the, with the injection is you're going to look up and away. So up and to the left, a little bit more up that way. Perfect. Now I have a little caliper, so I measure exactly where I want to do this. I give the injection, and we're done. So there's a particular part in the eye anatomically where we want to make the injection. And so I use my little tiny ruler to make sure we're in that right spot. But the injection's already done. So as you can tell, it goes pretty quick. Close your eyes. I couldn't even feel it. Good. Now there might be some irritation in the eye today, so what we do is we will send you home with some eye drops. It is nothing more than a lubricating teardrop. Put that in as much as you need to today and tomorrow. Okay. We're going to see you back again in a month. Okay. Today was injection number two. Next month we'll do number three. Okay. All right? Very good. So now you have a pretty good idea what's involved with an injection in the eye for vascular problems, whether it's macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, or vascular occlusions. I hope this has been helpful and I appreciate your joining us today.